Some of the most exciting things that we've seen from looking at gene expression in space is that we really see an explosion, like fireworks taking off as soon as the human body gets into space. So we've seen thousands and thousands of genes change how they are turned on and turned off as soon as you get right up into space. And then also some of them even persist for a little while when you get back here on Earth. The twin study actually represents perhaps the most comprehensive view of human biology which we'll need when we start to go to even further places like Mars or longer missions that last deeper into space. This really sets the bedrock for our understanding of the molecular risks for space travel as well as ways to potentially protect them and even fix them.